So you've gotten into the habit of storing anything and everything in Notion, but you're getting overwhelmed because you have no real way of organizing it. Trust me, I've been there, and the one way that I've found to be able to organize everything, both in the three major areas of my life, but also just super granularly, has been the para method. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you all about the para method and showing you how you can implement it in Notion. Hello beautiful people, my name is Ademu Shoyo and I teach you how to get more time, life, and energy out of each day through meaningful and intentional productivity strategies. Before we dive in, I want to give you a little bit of an overview on exactly what the pair method is. The pair method was actually started by a man named Tiago Forte and para stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archives. The para method is such a great way to build a second brain and also just have a great way of organizing your digital life and organizing it in these four categories is what's going to make things so much easier and way smoother. The first P is projects. Projects are things that you are working on that have a defined end date. Some examples of that might be a social media campaign that you're working on, or maybe a client project that you're working on. Projects relate to a specific area, whether it be in your business or your personal life, and you'll usually have some tasks that make up what you need in order to complete this project. In Notion, you can create a page that is your projects database, and within the projects database, you can have different properties like the start and end time, who the project is assigned to, as well as what area the project falls into, and that way you can better organize all of your tasks into these different projects that will help you stay focused and driven towards your goals or towards the different areas in which you are focusing on and wanting to improve. We talked about projects, so now let's go into areas. Areas are above projects and these are the running themes that you may have in your business or in your life or at work. They are things such as like maybe your marketing or operations or finances for your business or in your personal life. It could be your travel plans, friends and family, or cooking. These areas have no real end date and these are just things that you're constantly focusing on. Some of these might have goals or different ideas that you might want to have in order to further your commitment or your focus on this particular area. I want to chat with you a little bit in the comments below. Let me know what are some areas in your life that you are focusing on right now. After your areas, you'll have a bunch of resources. So resources are anything from meeting notes, articles, podcast episodes, books, tweets, Instagram posts, anything that can relate to a specific project or might be relating to an actual area within your life. I have a separate database for my resources where I categorize and tag them as well as connect them to different areas or different projects that I'm working on. And it just helps me stay more organized and also make sure that when I'm consuming content online, if something is more so related to an area that I'm really focusing on or a project that I'm currently working on right now, I'm already have my senses on. So when I see something, I'll be able to easily categorize it so that I can reference it later when I'm ready to start that project or if I want to generate a new idea and I have a bunch of resources already picked up that I can relate to that project. I wanna stop here at the resources thing because resources is actually one of the major productivity hacks and can actually help you get things done a lot quicker. So if you have a project in mind and you know that there's some research that you need to be able to do in order to actually figure out how to start that project or even get started on that project, do all of your planning and researching first and get all of the articles or links or books that you think that will be really, really helpful for you to get started and already relate it to that project so that when it's time to actually get started on that project, you're not gonna have to do all of that researching or gathering and you will have so many tabs on it. So definitely don't skip out on 
really making sure your resources are really organized so that you can make sure that when you're ready to start your projects, you can complete your projects a little bit more efficiently, which will also help you better the different areas that you're focusing on. And the last part of the pair method is archives. Archives are basically your old projects, your old resources, or even the old areas of focus in your life that you just have linked and connected somewhere that you haven't deleted yet, but you may want to reference it later. I know for me personally, I archive as opposed to deleting just because you never know when something is gonna come back and you may want to use it later. I know for me personally, I've gone back to things that I wrote in Notion years ago because I just knew I had it and I, it was easy for me to remember where it was. So don't skip out on archiving. I have like a bunch of linked databases so that I can see my archived projects in one section, my archived notes in another section, or any archived areas in another section, which is really, really helpful for anything that I have that I might wanna go back to. Another great reason why you might wanna keep your archives, especially when it pertains to projects, is because if you're gonna be working on a project that is similar to the project that you have been previously working on before, you can already go ahead and pull up that old project and see what you did in order to complete that project and copy any of the different resources or tasks that you may have had in that old project. I thought it would be really helpful to show you what my pair method organization looks like for my business. So if you drop down here, you can see I have my business areas, projects, resources, and archives. So if you open up my areas, you can see that I have the different areas of my business that I'm focusing on, and I can open up the content marketing one, which you have already seen in a previous video of what that looks like. And then when you go to my project section, you can see all of the projects that I currently have active, and then you can see the different tasks and who they're assigned to. When you look at my docs and resources, you can see all of the different articles I have, as well as the type of article it is and any links, if it's an external link versus if I'm the one who's taking notes for it. And then in the archive section, you can see some of my document archives, and then you can also see some of my project archives that I have as well. And this is just how I stay organized. This is how I'm able to better understand how the content or the information that I'm consuming online or throughout my everyday life can relate to what any of my bigger pictures. Now that you know how to organize your Notion workspace using the pair method, it's time for you to give it a try yourself. If you need some help getting started, you can grab some of my free and paid templates that'll help you manage different areas or aspects of your life, whether it be for business or your personal life. The link is in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below about what areas of your life that you're focusing on. If you found this video to be helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.